Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on a washing machine that is not filling with water correctly. If your washing machine starts the program but yet does not move through the cycle and no water has gone into the drum, or it stops mid-cycle with no water in the drum, but yet the machine will work on a spin cycle, you might have a problem with the water valve system. I will talk you through all the faults to look out for and show you how all the components work to help you diagnose the fault with your washing machine. Some of the most common faults are usually the simplest to cure. You may have no water getting to the machine. This could be caused by a faulty tap or when the machine was pushed into its location you may have kinked the pipe at the back of the machine restricting the flow of water. If you do get a restriction of water to the machine, sometimes you will hear a buzzing noise at the water valve. There is also filters built into the water valve. These are designed to catch debris. Whether you have mains water or well water, these filters can clog. And if you do hear a buzzing noise coming from the water valve and no water is going into the machine, there is a good chance that you have a flow restriction getting to the machine. As I said earlier, this could be a faulty tap, a kinked pipe, or the actual filter is blocked. The buzzing noise that you can hear from the valve is the electricity activating the coil which lifts the piston and then allows the water to flow into the machine. If you have low water pressure getting to the valve, this will cause a buzzing noise as the valve is not being pressurized to allow the water into the machine. This is the filter on the back of the valve, which I'll show you in more detail later. The hose connects to the valve, but when you push the machine into location, sometimes the hose can be kinked, as you can see here. This will restrict the flow of water getting to the machine. It is very important that you do not trap any hoses when pushing them into location. Right, the water valves themselves can be tested. As I said earlier, they are a coil. So if you put your meter onto continuity and put the probes across the two terminals, you should get a reading. This means that the coil is good and you have continuity. Now on this set of water valves, this is a triple. Two of the valves are good and one is open circuit, meaning the coil has failed and therefore needs replacing. Most modern machines are only cold fill supply. This valve has three solenoids, one for the pre-wash, one for the main wash and the other to take the fabric softener away. And as you can see the last in the line is open circuit and therefore meaning that this coil has failed. The valve will need replacing. Now this water valve has four valves. It is off a washer dryer. The fourth valve is used in the condensing process on the drying cycle. You can find more about this at the website. This next valve we're working on is off a Bosch washer machine. It's a twin valve, but it has a circuit board attached to the top of it. You need to work out which circuit goes to which coil, allowing you to test the actual water valve itself. But as you can see, we're getting a reading on both sides, which means that both coils are good. The next thing you need to understand is what controls the water valves. We have here a pressure chamber. This is attached to the hose on the sump or could be attached to the drum itself. As the water rises in the machine, it pressurizes the air in the pressure chamber which activates the pressure switch. Then it either directly cuts off the electricity supply to the water valve or does this via the control board and then shuts down the water to the machine. Pressure switches are devices that allow a certain amount of water into the machine. This pressure switch comes off a machine where it only has one setting, meaning that it only has one level of water throughout the whole cycle of the machine. This next pressure switch has two clicks, meaning that the rinse cycle might have a higher level of water than the main wash cycle. Although pressure switches come in different shapes and sizes, the amount of clicks that you can hear are the different levels of water which are allowed into the machine. They are calibrated by the manufacturers to allow a certain amount of water into the machine. But if you do have a machine that is not functioning correctly, it is worth inspecting the pressure bowl, as sometimes the pressure bowls can get clogged. 
This next test should only be done if you are competent with electrics. We are testing the water valve to make sure that we have electricity supply. The right hand valve here has a steady 230 volts, meaning that there is power going to the valve. And if you have already checked that the electrical coil is good on the valve, you either have a water supply problem to the valve, or you may have, on the rare occasion, a problem with the mechanical side of the valve. You also want to take the hose off the back of the machine and make sure that you have a good strong flow of water, not like this. It needs to be high pressure like this. Now, when it comes to the filters, the filters can be extracted using a pair of pliers and pulled out. And you can see the actual muck that builds up around the filter. So it's well worth inspecting this to make sure it's clear. And there you go. I hope this video helped you uh, fix your machine. Remember, there's links in the video and below in the description to take you through to the website, whether you need more help with your appliance or if you need parts. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope we helped you. And remember, you can always click on the button to buy us a beer if we did. Thanks very much indeed for watching.